Hi everyone and welcome back to lesson three of our topic this week, which is finding a half. Yesterday, we were looking at finding a half of a shape. Today, we're going to be looking at finding a half of a number. So it's going to be the same method, but just a little bit different in how we do it. So we're going to start by revising our vocab for this week. Half is a shape, object or number that is in two equal parts. Split means cutting or folding something to make different parts. Whole means the entire shape, thing or number, the total. And equal means the same size, shape or number. Today, don't forget to look out for my friend Boots and tell me at the end of your page how many times you see him. Are we ready to start? Do you have your pencil and paper? Okay, let's begin. So to find a half of an amount or a number, we can share equally between two groups. For example, half of four. So when we want to find half of a number, we can make two groups. We can do two circles, draw two circles, and we can see how many we need to find half of. So here we want to find half of four. So we are going to write a circle, or a dot in the first circle, a dot in the second circle, a dot in the first circle, and a dot in the second circle. Just like when we were sharing things equally last week, we have to make sure we're going circle one, circle two, circle one, circle two, not circle one, circle one, circle one, circle two, circle two, circle two. We have to make sure we are sharing equally. So half of four is how many are in one circle? That's right, two. So we always make sure we have two circles and we do however many dots we're looking to find half of. So for here, half of four was two. Excellent. Let's have a look at question number one. Half of mm equals mm. So let's count the red dots to see what number we need to find half of. Should we count them together? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to find half of six. Very good. So how do we find half of six? First, we draw our two big circles and then we'll do our six dots. One, two, three, four, five, So how many are in one circle? What is half of six? Write your sentence down now for question one. Question two, half of 10 equals what? So we have 10 dots. We want to find half, so we're going to do two big circles. And then we're going to share out our 10 dots. I want you to do that now and find the answer for question two. You can pause the video now while you find your answer. Here's a clue to help you. Question three. Half of 14 equals what? So we have two big circles to find half. You are going to draw 14 dots in these circles. You're going to share your 14 dots into these two circles and find the answer. Pause the video now while you complete question three. 
Okay, for question four, five, and six, you can use counters or you can draw dots and circles to help to answer the following. So question four, half of eight. Question five, half of 12. And question six, half of 20. So for each of these questions, you need your two big circles. For question four, you're going to do eight dots. For question five, you're going to do 12 dots. And for question six, you're going to do 20 dots. Pause the video now while you find your answers and write the sentences for question four, five, and six. Okay, question seven, we have Sue and Dom. Sue is saying, Half of 14 is equal to 5 plus 3. Dom is saying half of 14 is equal to 11 minus 4. Who is correct? So this is a bit of a long question. What we need to do is we need to look at what Sue is saying. Half of 14 is equal to 5 plus 3. So we need to find half of 14 and we need to find 5 plus 3 and we need to see if they are the same number. Then we have to look at what Dom is saying. Half of 14 is equal to 11 minus 4. So we need to find half of 14 and we need to find 11 minus 4 and we need to see if they are the same number. Pause the video now while you answer question seven. Okay, our last questions today are questions eight, nine, and 10. Question eight, half of m equals six. Question nine, half of m equals 10. Question 10, half of m equals seven. So just like we were finding half earlier on in the video, now we know what half is and we need to find out what the whole is. So there's two ways we can find this out. First of all, we can draw our two big circles. And for question eight, in each circle, we put six dots. For question nine, in each big circle, we will put 10 dots. And for question 10, in each big circle, we will put seven dots. And we will count them up and write the answer. But I am going to let you in on a little secret that might help you. Remember when we were learning plus and minus, and we learned that plus and minus are opposites. Plus is counting up and minus is counting down. Well, half also has an opposite. And the opposite of half is double. Now we learned double last week. So if we need to find out what half of a number is and we know the answer, what we can do is we can double the answer to find the number. So half of m mm equals six, we can double six to find the whole, to find the total. Half of m mm equals 10, we can double 10 to find the total. And half of something equals seven, we can double seven to find the total. So you can use either of those methods. You can use doubling, or you can draw your circles and draw the dots, whichever way you want to do it that you think you can do on your own, you use that method. When you're finished, I want you to check your work. I want you to make sure you have done all your numbers the correct way around, and you can upload it onto your Class Dojo portfolio. Remember to tell me how many times you saw my friend Boots. I hope you had a nice time learning about halves today and I'll see you again tomorrow.
拜拜。